so today we are discussing about the client tools okay so in client tools we have a repository manager designer workflow manager and monitor so we'll see what are the things we have here so administration console in administration console uh, we are creating repository and integration service from administration console we can enable disable the repositories we can make the repositories global we can upgrade the repositories we can take backup and restore so we can enable disable the repositories also so by default we will get uh, five ten contains in uh, in this version uh, that five ten contains the combination of tables and views in that tables and views we are loading metadata information so after creation of repository and integration we are configuring this repository into the repository manager in the client this is the first tool okay in the client this is the first tool after uh, configuration we are creating folders and uh, we can manage the users and group privileges on particular folders logs and connections okay import and export part also we are doing from the repository manager from one department to another department means from development to testing testing to production so after configuration of the repository we can start the designer part in the designer we have source analyzer to import the different types of sources so warehouse designer means target designer here also we can import any type of uh, targets any type of database targets files uh, xmls everything we can do and maplet designer this is the reusable concept we have so if this if you want to use the same logic multiple types in multiple different places we can create maplet designers and mapping to migrate the data from source to target from different databases to from different database you can use mapping designer so here transformation developer if you want to use the same logic the same condition you can use transformation developer this is the combination of logics this is single logic okay so you will get the clarity when you are discussing a uh, practical session okay so after completion of the source to target flow then we can start the workflow manager part so in the workflow relational connections means to import the source to import the target we use some connections okay here but to read that information from the source to load the data into the target we are using relational connections different connection objects we are using based on the type of the database files we are using paths for example different types of things so task developer for each and every mapping we are creating one task not only for mapping we have different types of task to schedule the workflow and to send the emails to check the files so we have different types of tasks and worklet also same like a uh, maplet reusable concept if you want to run particular flows uh, flows multiple times we can reuse worklets a number of times and workflow designer um this is the important after creation of mappings we are creating the sessions to run that sessions we are using workflow designer so execution we can start from workflow designer finally from monitor we can check the status total etl part status how many records we are getting from the source what are the when it started when it uh, completed the flow successful records fail records so everything we can monitor here when it's scheduled everything so if you got any issues we can we here we have session log using that we can debug any type of issues okay uh, this is the total architecture of the informatica 
so first we are preparing core services the installation of informatica then we are pre preparing application services after this is the admin part and finally client tools so here are two types of jobs uh, we have in the etl informatica uh, that is application service administration job and client tools is the developer role job two types of jobs we have in informatica okay thank you